six months out of class. Some of you might be feeling a little bit, you know, nervous and anxious. It's the first day back for these Year 11 pupils, entering a challenging GCSE year. I'm, what, half a year behind now, um, so catching up's probably the m most stressful thing about this all. Um, we have so much work to do and so much work we haven't covered yet. Independently working for me is harder rather than working with a group. So when I'm face to face with a teacher, it's easier and I can bounce off others. The curriculum for subjects like English and history has been cut to help students catch up. That is welcomed, but some would like exams pushed back to July. More time for revision and I think if bits of the curriculum and contents taken out, I feel like that would help us to be able to actually finish the courses. Depends really what they do in July, so if they move it back, obviously that will help. Two months isn't going to cover the five months that most students have missed. And also, prior to Covid, um, most students were very stressed coming, coming towards GCSEs. And now obviously with all of the uncertainty, the students are going to be even more stressed. Well, it's really important that we know what's going to happen to the Year 11 examinations this year so that we can strategically plan for that as schools. We know that they need support not just academically, but with their physical and mental health and well-being. Some of our students have experienced trauma and bereavement and illness while they've been at home. And we need to support those students cope with what is going to be a very anxious year ahead for them. Each year group is in their own bubble. Each individual can decide whether to wear a face covering at this comprehensive. Friends reunited, but that bond with school subjects could be harder to forge. There are some individuals who were able to keep on top, you know, whilst working at home, um, and maybe, maybe they're not too far behind, a bit of extra work this term, and they'll be back where they should have been. For some of them, there's, there's some significant gaps, you know, they really struggle to engage working at home on their own. Um, and there might be another extenuating circumstances. So for those, there's a lot to catch up on. Um, and unfortunately, that might be impacting on their, the grades they achieve. So this experiment was the, the elephant's toothpaste experiment. You can't do this at home. <laughs> this summer's exam grading was a mess. No one wants a last minute experiment with the results for the class of 2021. Simon Dedman, BBC Lachiste, Ingatestone.